Hey, what's up? Last time we were able to log in a user and they're able to come to this home screen. Now, in this one, we are gonna go ahead and finish up setting up the, the authentication flow. So if we came here and I saved this file, you notice that the user is logged and that's because that the state from the context API is not persisted across the renders and also multiple app openings. So when we close the app and come back, we lose the state from in the context. So what we want to do is be reading this from the async storage. Okay, so right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a state called is authenticated. It's gonna be a local state. So set is authenticated. So this one is gonna be use state. Of course, false by default. Then we are gonna have a use effect. So this use effect will be checking if we have something in async storage, if we have the user in async storage. Let's make sure we import this, so use effect. Actually, we're gonna, we might use, use, use context, we're gonna find out. So now, in this use effect, we are going to now make a function to get, get the user. So inside the effects, we can't really do and as you can, we can't really do an asynchronous function, but what you can do is actually call it and then define it to be asynchronous somewhere. So here you can have a const get user, it's gonna be async, async function. So in here, now we can await, uh, I'm gonna have a try except, try catch. So here we can now await async storage, get item user remember we said user on login success in the actions so now if we have user so we can say if we have user then go ahead and return true so set is authenticated to true all right now if we don't then set it to false so if we don't set it to false like that. This should be is authenticated. So let's define our user here. So this gets returned from the await. So now we want to be checking for is authenticated. So now let's have that. Then here, we're gonna check if the user is logged in. Remember this is a value that's gonna be coming in from context. So we want to check for it because when a user logs in, let's say from the login screen, this is gonna get updated. So we want to check for that or when we have the user okay so we need to use context again and also and also select is logged in like we had done before okay so that now works so now remember right now we are sure we don't have this so what's working is this if that comes from a sync storage so you notice that uh, we got some warning over there something that you can't do a state update so we're having some issues with states so what we want to do is you know this returns a pro this returns a promise so when you say get user it's not gonna evaluate at the start so that means that we risk rendering this and maybe if it returns and it should render this we might have issues with managing state or asynchronous calls in the drawer navigator screens so what you can do is have another state that will keep track of if we have completely checked authentication. So we're gonna have auth loaded, auth loaded. Then let's have an set auth loaded. It's gonna be false by default. So here when we start getting the user, we can do set auth loaded should be false still. So I'm gonna have a true because it's false by default. Then I'm gonna Inside here, when we have the user, we can set it by, we can set it to true. Also, when we don't have a user, we also have loaded. And that means that we will know exactly what to render at that point in time. So here, instead of us returning the navigation container, I'm going to use these fragments here. Okay, so in here now we can check if we, if auth has loaded. So you can say if auth loaded, then we are going to be showing this. Otherwise, we are just gonna show a loading indicator. We're gonna do activity indicator here. So if auth loaded, we want to make sure we, we close it like that. So that means that, let me reload it. You see that now we can't see really the issue. We can't really see the, the load, but it, there's a time 
when it's going to be loading oh so we're saying if auth has loaded then now go ahead and do this otherwise show an activity indicator so remember it's false by default so when we get the user then we turn it to true also if we don't find the user we turn it to true so at that point we can correctly render the type of ui we want to show so now this is good this is working perfectly let's try to test out the login okay so for us to test out the login we need to implement a logout so in the next video we are going to come in and implement the logout and also continue to make our app beta so thanks guys for watching if the video helped you please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye